Hey everybody and welcome to our MVP talk from week eight today with the one and only Zach Edwards, quarterback from the Barcelona Dragons. Hey Zach, it is such a pleasure to meet you and congratulations. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, thank you so much for having me on. I mean, oh my God, what a game. It was It was so intense to watch you play against the Cologne Centurions. And let's focus on your MVP qualification first, because you did 454 passing yards, four passing touchdowns and two rushing touchdowns. You wanted that win and you clearly wanted to become the MVP of week eight, right? Uh, I mean, the MVP wasn't really on my mind. The biggest thing was just winning that game. And uh, Cologne played a hell of a game. Uh, they came to fight. And we needed all 60 of those points to win that game. So um, I was just trying to do whatever I could to help my team win. And if it if it worked out that I became two MVP, it is what it is. Happy to, <laughs> happy to have it. It clearly worked out, and but I mean, let let's be honest here. It was it took a while. It, the Barcelona Dragons were struggling during the first half of the season a little bit. So it was week six when you finally won your first game. Then you had a good play against the Hamburg Sea Devils, and now your second win against the Cologne Centurions. What brought the change now? Um, I think the biggest thing was we just got sick of losing. Uh, a lot of the guys around here, uh, you know, we put in so much work, we put in so much effort day in and day out that. Um, when you're not getting wins, football isn't as much fun. So I think we all kind of just looked ourselves in the mirror and dug a little bit deeper and uh, really pushed a little that little extra uh, effort, and uh, we were finally able to get that win. And once we were able to get that first win, um, I think we could just build on top of that and just kind of ride the momentum, keep it going. And what was the reason for you to struggle during the first games? Like, was there anything going wrong in the team? No, I don't think there's anything wrong. I think um, it was just we kind of had to figure out who we were as a team. We had to kind of find our identity. Um, it took we had to gel together. You know, football, it's obviously a team sport. You need all 11 guys on the same page. And, uh, you know, for some teams that clicks right away and some teams it doesn't. And uh, I don't think there's anything wrong. It just we, we were just a little slower off the bat. And sometimes that happens in life. But uh I'm proud of how we battled that adversity and we're coming back stronger than ever. So, Absolutely. So how would you describe the game against the Cologne Centurions from your perspective? Um, it was a shootout. Um, those guys, every time those guys step on the field on offense, they're a threat to score at any time. Obviously, with uh, their running back and their passing game, uh, they're, they're an elite offense. So we knew offensively we were going to have to do some good things to be able to stay in, in the game with them. So... From my perspective, it was a lot of fun. You know, I love I love putting points on the board. I love being able to throw the ball around. So from a quarterback perspective, it was a lot of fun. Um, but the biggest thing is just uh, finishing the game with that win. So uh, I was I was happy to end the game like that. That's it. And the fans were happy too. I mean, they went crazy in the stadiums. How much were they pushing you on the field? Uh, we, we've got for sure the best fans in the ELF. I might be a little biased, but uh, they come – every game day, bring us so much energy, um, so much life to just our team that uh, we definitely we, we definitely ride ride that energy and they push us to be better for them. You know, we don't want to give them losing games and we want to make sure that we give them the best show that they paid for. So, Well, you put on an amazing show last Saturday, that's for sure. Thank so you, you. how would you describe the Barcelona Dragons? What's your team spirit? How do you guys get along? You were, you were saying like now it finally clicked and you were bonding. So... What is the, what is the what are the Barcelona Dragons? Oh, I think we've got a really good culture going here. You know, um, we're all really close. Um, it's kind of cool. We're, we take guys from all over Spain, people from Madrid, um, all these different uh, guys that played against each other in the Spanish league, all coming together to here. We got guys from Barcelona. We've got guys from France. Um, we've got guys from Can uh, from the Canada that have played there. We've got guys from the states. You know, all sorts of guys. So we're a unique team. Uh, But I love it. We're, we're a tight brotherhood and every week we get closer and closer and um, it's something special. So I'm, I love it out here and I'm excited to, for the next couple of games. Yeah. And how, how is life in Spain? Because we already heard from your teammate MVP week six, week six, Jean Constant, that we heard some nice after work beach stories that made everyone jealous. So how do you enjoy Spain? Yeah, I, I love Spain. I mean, there's really no other place in this league that you can play play a game Saturday night and then the next day you can wake up and go hang out at the beach five minutes from your house. So 
Um, definitely blessed in that regard, you know, uh, have an off day. You're able to just walk down to the beach, just relax in the sun and get in the water whenever you want and then come back. And the next day you're back to work. So it's it's like a vacation and football all wrapped in one. So I'm loving it. So you are enjoying the European League of Football. Absolutely. No <laughs> doubt. And now you are a quarterback. What would you say what makes a good quarterback? Um, I think a good quarterback is somebody that uh, can lead lead a team through uh, through thick and thin. You know, uh, the quarterback position is unique as you kind of have the ball in your hands every single play. So regardless of uh, if things go good or things go bad, the next play it's still ran through you. So you have to you have to be that guy that kind of stays even keel. Uh, you can't get too up. You can't get too down because everybody's looking for you the next play to be able to. Be able to make a play if things are going bad or if things are going really good. You got to keep the guys uh, level-headed so they don't get too excited and um, start to overlook your opponent and stuff like that. So that's my biggest thing personally is I just try and be uh, try to lead through um, actions and try to be a tough uh, try and be a tough guy out there that can stay even keel even when things aren't going our way. So how do you motivate your players, especially during difficult times? Um, I think the biggest thing is just getting getting back up. You know, um, when when you get knocked down, when you get down in the game, uh, kind of like I said, keeping that same energy that you had in the first quarter, even if it's the third quarter and you're down by 20, uh, bringing that same energy to every play and then trying to rally those guys, you know, like just pushing them to give that extra that extra fight, even when the, st the odds might be stacked against us, uh, just trying to get, get a little bit more out of them that they even think they have, so... Trying to trying to get those guys to dig deep and give me more than what they think they have. And how do you motivate yourself and how do you stay focused, especially during a difficult game, for example? Um, I think I think I just have a really next play mentality. You know, um, obviously, like playing quarterback, you're gonna make mistakes. Uh, I, we throw interceptions. Uh, we might throw a bad ball. Might overthrow a receiver. Um, but just trying to have kind of a short term memory. Uh, think about the next play rather than what what just happened because if you start thinking about the interception through the last drive, you lose focus on uh, the most important play, which is the one that you're about to run. So uh, more than anything, I just kind of try and um, focus on the next play and put our team in the best position uh, moving forward. Well, that clearly is the right spirit. And now let's focus on the next play because that's going to be in Stuttgart against the Stuttgart Surge. How do you guys prepare for that game? Um, you know, we're going to do the same thing we do every year. Uh, Stuttgart obviously beat us week one. Um, they're a good team. Um, they're in a similar position as we are, trying to fight for that playoff spot. So uh, we know that they're going to give us a great game. Um, so we're going to be, pre be preparing pretty hard all week. Um, it's a big game to us. We're trying to keep this uh, little winning streak alive. We're trying to keep playing our, our good football. But uh, we know it's not going to be easy. So we're going to go in there. Uh, working, we're working hard all week. And hopefully we can get in there and do some good things and get out of there with a win. And what will we see from the Dragons at the last three upcoming games? Is it going to be three wins and yeah. then the playoffs? Yeah, I think so. I think I got a good feeling. I got a little hunch that uh, we're going to win, go 3-0, and and we might find ourselves in the playoff spot. So uh, to all the people out there, don't be surprised if you see Barcelona Dragons in the playoffs. Oh, I think a lot of people would would like that very, very much. So, Zach, Zach, thank you very much. It was a great pleasure to get to know you a little bit better. Best of luck for the upcoming game in Stuttgart. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you having me on. It's been good to get to know you as well. So, <laughs> Thank you. And, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank, <laughs> thank you very you so much, much, Zach. Thank you.